Hey everybody, welcome to OC's Daily Meditation, where you can come every day to get a short 3-5 to five minute meditation in, followed up by an affirmation. Go ahead and sit up relatively straight. We're going to start out with a nice deep breath, focus all of our awareness on our breathing for the next 3-5 to five minutes, after which I will gently bring us out of the meditation. Alright, go ahead and start out with a nice deep breath. And if your mind starts to drift, simply use that as a cue to return your attention to your breathing. That completes our meditation for the day, and our daily affirmation is, I am making positive assumptions versus negative assumptions. I am making positive assumptions versus negative assumptions. I am making positive assumptions versus negative assumptions. I've done a, a meditation video in the past with a somewhat similar affirmation, but this one is important and definitely worth repeating and takes a lot of practice to implement and make uh, a regular part of how you perceive things. So really what, what it comes down to is the meaning that we attribute to different situations and circumstances throughout our day. So let me give you an example. 
let's say that you are in a profession such as like being a waitress or a waiter where you receive tips and a, a good portion of your income is from your tips. Let's use an example where you are giving absolutely great service to some family who has come to your restaurant to visit, to have a good meal. Um, you've been going above and beyond to give this family everything they need to make sure that you're there to offer them refills on their drinks and um, asking if there's anything extra they need. Their food came in a timely manner. You've done everything you could. You've been upbeat, happy, kind. And at the end of your shift or at the end of their meal, you realize that they leave and they leave you absolutely no tip at all. And they just kind of got up, left, no tip. Here's where you can start to make an assumption. On one end, you can assume that they didn't like your service or they didn't like you as a person. After all, they must not have because you gave them great service, right? So if they didn't tip you, they must just not like you or there's something about you that they don't like. That's one assumption you could make. The second assumption you could make could be about them as individuals, that they're cheap, that they're inconsiderate, that they don't value how hard you work. Okay, that's another assumption you can make and they're both kind of negative assumptions. Well, what's a positive assumption you can make instead in this example? Instead, maybe you can assume that the family is going through a financial hardship and it's the person, the their child's birthday and they know they didn't quite have enough money to buy a nice meal but it was very important to them to take their kid to the their favorite restaurant on their birthday. It's been tradition. Both parents, let's say, lost their jobs, but they just wanted to make sure that they could continue the tradition to take their child to their favorite restaurant on their birthday. They just had enough money to scrape together to buy the meal, um, and that's the reason they didn't tip. If you knew that, you probably wouldn't feel as bad about the situation. You wouldn't feel bad about yourself and your service. You wouldn't feel um, angry or upset about the type of people who came to visit you and didn't tip you. Uh, what's another positive assumption we can make? Maybe the person forgot. Now that seems like, uh, how could somebody forget, right? But I'm sure it happens. I'm sure it's happened before. Maybe the people have good intent. Maybe they loved your service. Uh, maybe they even told your manager how great a job you did and they simply just forgot. And maybe they'll even call back later and leave you a, an extra big tip because they forgot. Alright, so this is a perfect example of the assumptions we're making and whether or not we're choosing to make positive assumptions or negative ones. I highly suggest you train your brain and your mind to start making positive assumptions. That doesn't mean that there's never going to be a situations where the negative assumption happens to end up being the correct one, but if you can train your mind in more circumstances than not to choose a positive assumption, you will feel better, and if you feel better, you'll treat others better as well. You'll be more pleasant to be around. You'll feel better, and that's ultimately what we all want is to feel good and to help others to feel good as well. All right, so please work with that today. Uh, use this all the time. Really ask yourself, am I making a positive assumption or a negative assumption, and how do I feel? Thanks so much for joining me today. Um, really appreciate all of you guys watching. I'll see you guys tomorrow for our next edition of OC's Daily Meditation. Hope you guys are watching these fairly regularly as they come across your news feed or if you're checking on YouTube. Um, don't hit, forget to hit subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. If you're watching this on Facebook, please uh, like the video, follow the page, tell your friends about it, share the video if it feels appropriate to you, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Love you all, support you, see you next time.